out and about again. This time down, or up for me, up near Grafton. Just on the edge of the Clarence River. So I'm gonna head up river a fair few k's. Hopefully camp on this river system somewhere. But, um, yeah, not even sure where. But a big loop through the back of Grafton, so should be fun. So there we go. Well, it's all happening here with the boating. Let's head up river. We'll get up a fair way. See how we go. But um, yeah, I know some pretty fancy boats there, and some fancy cars towing them. Anyway, through Grafton and out to looking for a Coldale Road. It's a sort of northwest a bit. Pretty quiet, eh? Easter. Quiet old bloody town at the moment. Alright, keep on wondering. So I'm just cruising along this Coldale Road. Got about 30 k's of this. Before I turn off to my left, I can't think of the name of the road. I'll put it up on the screen. But that's the beginning of the dirt and the fun. But uh, yeah, this is pretty good. Nice and quiet. Considering it's east, east holidays, so I've, I've seen one car. So yeah, let's cruise along here. Turn left and head down towards the. Um, yeah, the Clarence River again. Should be a whole lot smaller when we see it next. Yeah, but this is a whole lot of this. Aussie scrub. No development. Alright. Now you're going the right way when you going through gates <laughs> with a classic Aussie thing shut the gate mate <laughs> all right so this way should get me down a little bit closer to the uh, to the old river almost said the ocean then A cool system in it. <laughs> I like it. All right, westward bound now. Follow this one through. Should be quite scenic, I'd imagine. And uh, I would imagine not not very often it's used. Beautiful. Alright, big cruiser.
beautiful run through here. It's lovely. Yeah, how's it coming to greet me? <laughs> you know, running no fence, boys. But yeah, that's a top little run. Beautiful country. Lush and green. Oh, she's a tight one. Not meant to, not meant to come undone easy that one. Yeah, pretty well like 10 k's or so across there. Two gates. We're getting pretty close to the main road again now, so that it um probably be the last gate, I think. Find out. See if we can uh, do it up a bit better than it was. That was seemingly too hard. Surely that's all it needs. All right. Probably noticed I parked the bike into the bank. I had the bike fall over a few times on gates. Yeah. just pointing down a little fraction sort of vibrates its way off the stand which is pretty bloody annoying because it's heavy alright 2k to the road and go on another big long sweeping um, farm road fun cut across that old range over there oh what's the road across that one and now we're back to Clarence Way and another bloody gate damn it thought that was the last when you're on your own you know who's opening them <sighs> hopefully it's a simple one what do we got here? Nothing too bad. What's it going to do? Beautiful. Beautiful run, beautiful ride through, across whatever, 10, 15 k's that way to here. Via this sort of stuff. I can do that any day. Now to join the urban chaos again. <laughs> So from here apparently 18 kilometers to the river it looks like we got rid of the tar cool all right down we go We'll just go down, down, down now. Oh, we'll hit the river there somewhere. But look, some of these views are bloody awesome. Just mountains everywhere.
There's some healthy cattle around here. Stay there. No, that is the opposite of staying there. Yeah, what a top run. Been great fun. Enjoy on this one. Looking forward to finding a nice little spot. Chilling out for the night. Never seen this section, so be interesting to see what the old bridge is like. I'm assuming it'd be a bit low sort of causeway. I don't know. There she is. Wow. Cool. She will be running. Nice. Running a bit, got a little bit of colour in it. Now hopefully I can find somewhere to pull up around here. Cool. We'll find out when we get off the side here. Alright, I've looked around for somewhere to set up camp. Yeah, so after a bit of fiddling around, she's um, pretty well done. Bike set up, away from the tent so it can't fall on me. So what I'll basically do, I'll just give you a quick look inside. Inside is um, just a sleep bag, cheap air bed. Self-inflating, but you put a bit more air in it. And this green camo, um, this thing here is an old air bed I had that um, went flat tried to fix it a few times and then ended up giving up on it so it's now a doormat <laughs> so over here so the bike's pretty well everything's on the bike so when I end up going to sleep I'll just get the tarp wherever that is there it is and I'll just throw it over the bike so it is doesn't get covered in dew and everything can just stay there as it is. That's about it. Yeah, well the old fishing didn't go to plan. You probably um probably seen me get snagged, threw onto something underwater out there. Found a decent looking spot, nice calm water, but eh, lost my lure so I quit. Um yeah, just come back, get the fire going, chill out a bit, have a bloody couple of rums, give me a fancy glass. And um yeah, just unwind, get some food going soon. May have a throw in the morning, see how I feel. So cold it is too, it's probably going to be pretty cool out here. 
But anyway, yeah, wind down time now. Got the firewood, got everything going, so it's just time to chill. I've got a pretty good collection of wood, bits and pieces. Found a couple of real bits of wood. And um, yeah, got some um, chunky bits on there now. Yeah. Should, burn. should burn for a while. Chunky bits on there now that should burn for a while. Yeah, all is good. Yeah, happy with the camp. Bloody beautiful little grassy spot. 30 metres from the water. Can't complain about that anyway. I think I'm awake. Only just. Oh, wasn't too bad, wasn't too cold. It was cool. I wonder what temperature it was, but I'll call it cool. So, what day we got out here? Should be really nice, I think. Whew. I'll go down to that bigger pool, one about 100 metres down. We'll see how that goes. I've got one lure, that's it. No leader. <laughs> no, no, they don't like it, bad luck. Alright, I've got one lure on. Oops. Can't even see him half asleep. It's, um, one slightly different way before. No, about 100 metres. 100 metres down. Yeah, had a bit of a go, didn't do much good, but that's all right. We tried, we got out. Definitely a good looking system. Love to be on, love to be on here on a kayak. Do it a bit, you know, better. Cover a bit more water, but yeah, no, it's nice. All right, I'm gonna head back. Head back to camp, grab a feed. End up a nice little spot, got plenty of wood. So I work my way out here, up across there, and out. But um, yeah, you're gonna head back on at Carnham's Road, back towards, I'll probably cross the Man River now. This is the Clarence in front. So I'll go across the Man. See how this goes, see how it starts. Almost beautiful.
not the best for the maps this thing all right straight into some tricky stuff too easy Cruise along. Whew. Still half asleep. Old cows live on some steep old angles. Look at that. Beautiful country. They would, um, have some good leg muscles these things <laughs> wow just run down that I flat out walking up that look at this country though that is crazy so I've gone off the water a bit here so we're heading a little bit more west and ends up um, crossing another ri river system that also flows into the Clarence and that's the man. Reminds me of the back of the Barringtons, or more a bit north of the Barringtons. Bloody beautiful country. Every bend's got something interesting. Every hill's got an awesome view. Yeah, that might just about do it. I'll um, keep following this Carnham Road and wind my way out of here and um, yeah, soak up the scenery. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment if you want, and we'll um, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, cheers, guys. Catch you on the next one, wherever that is.